What is going on guys? Joy Friends here with Flux Training Systems. Ah, there we go. Alrighty, quick video today. I uh, just wanted to make this video talking about wrist wraps because I see a lot of people not doing them right or, or here. So whenever you give out advice on the internet, uh, there's a lot of different ways you can do things. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys what I do to allow my little tiny wrists and my measly 15 inch arms, 15, 16 on a good day, maybe even less than 15, who knows, uh, to, you know, I bench good amount of weight, 450 plus, I've hit 463 in competition many times. Um, but uh, I wanna show you guys how to wrap your wrists uh, and talk about some of the stuff that people do that's wrong that I see all the time. Uh, and uh, what else? Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you how to put the bar in your hand. I may expand on this further in another video, but I just wanted to do this quickly. <clears throat> or, uh, you know, just show you guys uh, how I do it. So, if you guys watched my review of these recently, you'll know that I love these wraps. Uh, these are 36 inch um, brutal wraps from Iron Tanks. And today, I'm gonna show you guys how I wrap my wrist. This is not the right one. Okay, so here we go. Boom, boom. See that little strap thingy? Put that down. Grab it like that, okay? Okay. All right, so we're gonna go around one time and I'm gonna do this kind of slow-ish so you guys can see what's up. And notice I have my, the joint is covered, right? The joint's kinda almost in the middle. Uh, of where the wrap is maybe the third black line from the bottom uh, that's where my you know joint is so boom one time and I'm pulling slack out that's gonna be dependent on you you might like pulling slack out of your wraps some people might some people might not uh, you know pulling slack out and I'm just pulling and cranking cranking right these are you know nice long wraps and each time I go around I'm holding it here I don't know if you guys can see that with uh, my ring finger and my middle finger. Holy fuck, that's a lot of pressure. Uh, this is gonna prevent it from, you know, unraveling uh, on you. And then, boom, right here. I, I mean, I could really try to bend it, but it's gonna hurt. Uh, I'm starting to lose circulation in my hand. This motherfucker is not going anywhere. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, and like it's just gonna naturally so I have to really try to open my hand it's gonna want to close your hand uh, from pressing on your ligaments and stuff um, obviously don't keep it like this too long just do it when you're gonna hit your set uh, and then I want to try to get the bar across my hand right here so I'm really driving with the heel of my hand that's gonna decrease the distance from the weight that I'm trying to move all right I gotta take this off uh, it's gonna decrease the distance from the weight you're trying to move um, from the joint of your wrist so you're not losing power if you ever see people drive and they start doing that they start going oh like that you're losing power right all that movement could be going into the bar and you could be lifting more weight so we want to maximize that uh, wrist wraps not only kind of hide how heavy the weight actually feels or is uh, and psychologically that could be a factor for you um, but they help uh, prevent movement uh, and to help protect your wrist, protect your hand, and allow you to put as much force in the bar as possible so you can lift more weight. Uh, I'll do it one more, or I'll show you guys one more time, this time without the wrap. When you hold the bar, you're gonna put it right here, okay? Like as low as your hand, low in your hand as you can. You don't want it up here, because then you're gonna have this action. You want it down, down in the palm. Boom, you're driving through. I mean, even when I bench, um, you know, elbows out a little bit. Everybody says tuck your elbows. I think that's a bad cue. I think that's an old cue. Um, I think you shouldn't really think too much about what your elbows are doing when you bench. Um, again, everybody is different. For me, I like to flare my elbows, like because I want to use the medial head of my tricep and my pecs. Uh, I can do this safely. Um, you might not be able to do that. There's really no right or wrong way. You have to do what's best for you, but I just have seen a lot of success doing it that way. Uh, you want to drive through the heel of your hand uh, and your elbow, so it's like all this part of your hand you don't even think about that. It's just it's almost like I'm pre I'm pressing with my elbows, 
uh, and my heel of my hand into the bar. Um, and you feel like you have a lot of power that way. Uh, but yeah, I just want to make that quick video. I've seen a lot of people, you know, ask me, hey, Joey, how do I get my, or how do you do your wrist wraps or whatever? Um, what you don't want to do, this is a different wrist wrap. As you see, guys, uh, and they, they have their wrist wrap, like, I can't even do it. Can't even do it. But uh, they have it all the way down here. Come on, you. I don't want to cuss. I don't want to get demonetized again. Uh, so if you have if you have a wrist wrap down here and you can do this, what do you do? Like, you, you're not really doing anything. It's really not helping you transfer any more force into the bar. Uh, maybe slightly from creating pressure in your hand, like extremely minimally, but it's got to cover your joint. Um, there is a limit to how high you can have your wrist wraps, but honestly, I just go as high as I can, get away with it. Uh, I, can, I go as high as I can while getting away with it, and it helps. Um, alrighty guys, so quick video, hope you were able to take something away from that video. If you have any questions down below, let me know, and I'll talk to you in the next one, peace.